Facebook's data sharing deals are under investigation. According to the New York Times, federal prosecutors are looking into data deals social media giant made with some of the world's largest tech companies. A jury in New York has reportedly subpoenaed records from at least two prominent makers of smartphones and mobile devices who entered a partnership with Facebook in order to access user data. CNET senior producer Dan Patterson joins us now. So Dan, what do we know about these data deals? Well, we know that over 150 different companies, including Sony, uh, Netflix and Spotify, uh, as well as Amazon, had access to user data in Facebook that the company had previously said uh, they had curtailed or was not accessible. For example, Amazon was permitted to see uh, user contact information, and mm -hmm. Spotify and Netflix were, again, according to the Times reporting, allowed to see user private message information. Wow. So how has Facebook, you know, they've faced a series of, of data issues, privacy issues. How have they responded to this? Well, they have said, look, we're working with investigators and until the investigation is complete, uh, no comment. And to us as well, they have said the same thing. So Facebook seems to be the company that gets the most attention. There are other companies that you mentioned, partners. You know, once this investigation is complete, what can we learn about this at this point? What are you watching for? Well, we could learn a number of things, but mostly the mechanics of how Facebook Facebook shares information, not just with partners that are technical partners, uh, allowing access to the APIs, uh, but these are the application programming interfaces that allow software to interop with each, interoperate with each other. Uh, but we could really learn about the business mechanics of Facebook mm. and how they made special deals with companies beyond the 150 or so named in the Times report. So this situation is very different from the Cambridge Analytica investigation. Can you give us an update on where that stands at this point? This is very different from Cambridge Analytica, but it's very similar in that uh, companies were allowed to access data that Facebook initially said they weren't and then kind of rolled that back. Uh, the investigation with uh, Cambridge Analytica, and look, there are a number of investigations into Facebook right now. Uh, the one by the Justice Department is ongoing. The Justice Department, as a matter of protocol and procedure, says, hey, we don't comment on this. Facebook says we are working with investigators. But there are indications uh, from our reporting and from the Times and others that that they could be headed towards one of the largest settlements ever wow. between a private entity and uh, the Justice Department. And Dan, you actually have a piece on CBSNews.com looking at the 2020 campaign and big tech and how they could be the boogeyman in this election run. Tell me a little bit about what you found. Yeah, so I reported this along with our very own Caitlin Huey Burns, and uh, we looked at the way Democrats have traditionally worked with technology companies, and there has been a very close relationship going back to Joe Trippi and his fundraising efforts uh, using what was uh, kind of proto-social media sites in 2004 for the Howard Dean campaign through the Obama campaigns and the Clinton campaigns. And what we have found is that, look, there are close relationships when these companies were kind of plunky, small startups mm -hmm. that uh, morphed into business relationships that were significant. Uh, what we're looking at now is kind of the other side of that coin. Senator Warren has called for breaking up tech companies, although her proposal has been widely kind of scoffed at by the tech industry, as well as by tech pundits mm -hmm. who say this is just unthoughtful. Look, you can regulate much of the industry, but this is Challenging. So this is going to be a big issue in 2020. Huge. Before you go, I've got to ask you, I mean, for 24 hours, the past 24 hours, Facebook properties, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp were kind of down. What happened? What do we know about this? Well, the interesting thing is that we know very little. Facebook has said that this was a misconfigured chain of servers. Uh, we have reached out to Facebook on a number of occasions. They've said that they will get back to us. Uh, they haven't yet. Uh, do you think it's nefarious? Well, we've spoken with people in cybersecurity, and what's so fascinating is that there really isn't forensic evidence. Really? Uh, there are some indications that there were some transport error protocol or transport protocol errors. This is how data is swapped. Uh, on the back end mm -hmm. of uh, uh, the interchange servers. Yeah. But we really don't know any, anything. And at this time, that's fascinating in and of itself. It certainly is. I mean, 2008 was the last time this happened. It was only a few hours. And this time, 24 hours. That's a long time to be out. And a lot of money. And a lot of money. Good point. Dan Patterson, thank you for joining us.